First we need to open the, the door with a tool such as this, release the door and then my recommendation is to turn the power off. So we can do that by removing the power cable. Here the detector power down and the lights will go out. The first thing we need to do is locate these two screws and remove them to get the cover off. Then we simply slide the cover out towards us a bit and then out to the left hand side and then it will just fall out making sure that it's secure on the tethers. Now this is the chamber here that we need to replace. To get to the chamber we've got to pull out the sampling module as well as the filter. So it doesn't matter what order you do that, we can take the filter out now, put it on the table, and we need to take the sampling module out so that we can get to screws underneath. So there's three screws to be removed, which are now done. And this cable here has to be disconnected, like so. And the sampling module pulls straight out the front. Okay, once the sampling module and the filter has been removed, we can see the four screws, one, two, three, four, that we need to remove to get the detection chamber out. Finally, we need to unplug this cable from the board on the top, so we just put our fingers in there and unplug this cable, just like so, and then carefully pull the chamber out. And now we've fully removed the detection chamber. Okay, with our replacement chamber, the procedure is the reverse of the installation, so we need to install the chamber and mount it to the back. So I'll put it, locate it in, in situ, just like that. Line the screw holes up, hold the chamber and start to sink the screws back into the chassis. So the chamber is now firmly in position. We can plug our cable back in. Just like that. And we need to refit our sampling module. We need to plug this cable back in. Done. Finally, we need to refit the filter, locate the hinge, and clicks in and tidy our cable back up underneath the filter. Like that. And refit the front door. Making sure that the cables are not getting jammed. Put our two screws on, then we can power up the detector. Close the door, make sure the detector powers up. Goes through its initiation sequence.